Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing, uh, part one of the tutorial series on how to make a game like Corridor of Health. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the lobby and, um, the end part. So, like, uh, where you spawn and where you, um, go when you finish. So, we can just delete base plate and, um, get these models from the description below, um, uh, the end in lobby model, um, uh, this, these are just templates, you can add whatever you want to them, it shouldn't matter what you do, but, um, yeah. So, now what we're gonna do is we're going to go in replicated storage and, um, add a folder, and I'm, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I guess, floors? That make, I guess, um, uh, and this is going to be, like, all the stages. So, um, uh, what we're going to do in here is we're going to, um, add in the mod the, um, template in the description for the, um, oops, uh, I accidentally added in the wrong thing, um, but you're just going to get the template from the description below, and, um, uh, yeah, you're just going to get the, um, template for the, uh, stage in the description below. I'm just going to quickly paste that in here, and it should look like this. It doesn't matter where it's placed, um, as long as it, as long as it looks like this. Uh, don't color it, um, there's a script for that, uh, well, um, in the script we're going to handle that. So, yeah. So, um, you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to name it, like, Floor 1. No, what, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, add something so that we know that, um, it's random. So, let's just do this, um, so this will have a long line, so that is floor one, and, hmm, uh, and here we need to add in a, um, folder, uh, yeah, this folder is going to be in this, um, in the model, but, uh, I'm just going to call it obby, and then I'm going to put this part in here, because that's going to be everything that's for the obby, um, and yeah so uh now we can know what that is now let's just duplicate that put this one back in here and this one um i'm going to name it floor two oops floor two what's happening to my screen i have no idea let's just keep moving on okay so in here i'm just going to make it a bit bigger so that we know that it was random okay so let's just put that also in, wait, where'd the other one go? Oh, I put that in here, okay. So, there we go. Now it should be good. Now what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to go into server script service and add a script. And I'm just going to name this, like, main, because it's, like, the main script for, um, everything. And the first thing that we're going to gonna need to do in the script is get the floors. So local flo oops, floors is equal to game dot replicated storage dot floors and um then what we're gonna do is we're going to make the function that um makes all the floors so local function uh get floors actually I guess make floors make floors and then that's um and then we can start um doing the next stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get our, um, two floors. Uh, I, I just made two floors. You can keep adding on as much as you want. Um, yeah. Uh, so, um, we're going to make that. Oh, and also, um, one thing I need to do is you need to, uh, just go in here, go to workspace, then put this one, um, in the position. Well, put one of them in, uh, the right position. It should look like this. And then just duplicate it, and then br bring it over here, like right um, after it, and it should be like this. And then what you can do is, um, for the first one, you need to go in here, and then go to center, and then duplicate this center, then drag it into workspace and call it center1. Then, um, I'm just going to put this back into workspace in there, and then for this one, we're going to also copy it, so... Control D, put it into workspace, and call it center two. And then uh, that should be good. Uh, and yeah. 
So now uh, we're going to go back into our main script and we're going to keep going. So local floor one is equal to, um, wait, uh, um, oh yeah, floors, uh, get children, um, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to, now we're going to get the random. So math.random one, um, comma, uh, the number of, um, floors get children. Uh, you might not understand that, but, um, it works, so that's all you really need to know. So, then you're gonna duplicate that and, uh, do floor two, uh, depending on how many floors you have. So, yeah, and you can just do that for, if you have, like, seven floors, just keep, um, adding the floors along, like I did, then just move, um, this end part, um, uh, over this way. So, yeah. Um, let's, let's go back to the script. And now what we're going to do is we are going to, um, clone the floors. So, um, floor one is equal to floor, oops, floor one clone. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Clone, and then we're just going to copy this, paste it, then do floor two and floor two. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, put their parents to workspace. So floor one dot parent is equal to game dot workspace and floor two dot parent is equal to game dot works game dot workspace. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, set the primary parts to the center of it. So, um, uh, floor one dot primary part is equal to, and um, uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to um, say floor one find first child, and then um, we're going to find the center, so, oops, center, and then find first child, um, uh, center, again, because I had, uh, this is the folder, and then we're going getting the object, so what we're going to do after this is we're going to, um, set the primary part C frame, so, Floor one dot set primary part C frame, and we're going to set it equal to um uh or well, not equal to. We're going to since it's a function uh yeah function um we're going to say uh game dot workspace dot um center one because that is the first center, and then we're just going to copy all this. And paste it right here, and then we're going to just change all this to 2. So just change that. Uh, oops, change that. Uh, and that. Okay. So there we go. And um, now we're going to make, now we're going to handle the coloring. So um, we're going to do for i, v in pairs, and we're going to do in pairs for floor 1 get children, oops, get children, and then, uh, do, oops, and then we're going to check if, um, uh, oops, in, okay, so now we're going to check if, um, v is a folder, then, if it is a folder, then we're going to do for, uh, I guess, o, p, in pairs, okay, yeah. Then we're going to do um, v get children and do, and then we're going to check if um, p is a part, yeah, part. Then what we're going to do um, is uh, we're going to um, now we're going to set the color. So this is for the first floor, so um, you can uh, change this color, but I'm just going to make it this, so p.brick color 
is equal to brick color dot blue. I just like the color blue, so I'm just going to stick with that. Then copy this whole entire for statement, then paste it, and then just um, change, uh, change it to twos. So that should be good. And then all we're going to do is just uh, say, um, uh, make floors. And then it should uh, work automatically if um, it doesn't glitch, which I really hope it doesn't. Hey, it worked. Wait. Hmm. Unable to cast coordinate frame. Oh. Dot C frame. And then also dot C frame here. Okay. So now it should work. And again, sorry for my uh, very weird avatar, but see, look. Now it has all this. And the lava does work, um, I've tested it, but to make it work, um, like, normally, so that it doesn't glitch out, you have to go to Avatar, and you have to go to R6. That's just, uh, how it works. So, I have to click left. Yes, okay. So, you have to go to Game Settings, go to Avatar, and then, uh, in Avatar Type, set it to R6. Uh, so, yeah. And so I guess that's um, the end of part one. Uh, that's a good stopping place. Um, next one, I guess we could uh, handle like um, timer. Yeah, yeah, we can handle timer. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next one and bye guys.